Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video. In this one I'm going to do a quick review of a product that was sent to me by Windbridge. This is an outdoor voice recorder, primarily for outdoors. I guess it would work if you were in a large conference room or conference area that uh, you know didn't have a PA system to it. And you, obviously you didn't want to get a bullhorn out and put it up so that people can hear you. It would be good for teachers, it would be good for tour guides, it would be good for coaches, I would assume, doing outdoor sports. You know, even some marching band things that might come up. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick box opening of this. Uh, I'll go over the features. It's supposed to have a wired headset to it. At least that's what it shows in the picture. And it's supposed to have Bluetooth capability, along with the fact that it can play um, music. It says it has a, a U-disc, which I assume means a USB connector to it of some sort. So we'll take a look at that as well. So anyway, let me get this thing open and see what's inside. Okay, here it is in its packaging. The standard labels there. There's some features highlighted here in the back. Just how to use it with the strap or what looks like a waist uh, connector that it has. And then of course the colors and the, uh, the mode and everything to it. Let's open this guy up. Okay, here's a uh, manual, fan folded manual. I'll read through that. It looks like it's pretty good from the, at least the font size. I like that. <laughs> Makes it a little bit more easier. Here it talks about Bluetooth. So it has onboard Bluetooth. What is this? It looks like some kind of uh, product catalog. Yeah, product catalog from Windridge is included here. And we have the actual device. That's pretty small. I thought it was going to be bigger than this. When I saw this box, I thought it was going to be the whole thing. What do we got in here? Oh, it's got like a pink color. I think the name I saw on the side, though, actually said it was called Rose. Looks like you have the control buttons here on the top. We'll have to figure that out. This is obviously the remote uh, power on and then volume. Okay, and here it looks like it has the microphone connectors. And here's the little connector. It looks like for a belt strap. Doesn't look very sturdy, so you're gonna have to be careful with that. Looks like it could easily break if you uh, overstress it. It's got connectors here for a strap. Let's see what else is in the box. Well, here's that strap they talked about, so you can actually connect this thing up. It's got a little rubber band on it. There we go. You can put this around. It's adjustable. You can put this around your uh, shoulder if you want to do it that way. What else is in here? We got the wired headset, just like I thought. Standard microphone connector. Is this adjustable? Yeah, it's adjustable. There we go. It looks like that's the way it's going to go. Something like that. Oh, this is flexible, too. You can bend it any way you want. So it, it turns here in the corner but it also can be flexed any way you want it. Looks like two connectors. It's got, I guess this is if you want to use the aux port. I saw in the box written that it has aux port support. So they give you a cable for that to do the aux port. I guess you hook it up to your car radio or something. I think great, uh, car radios still have that, right? And then it's got like a USB cable here. Let me see what it is. Yeah, I think this might be the, uh, what is this? The uh, micro USB. Is that the power connector here? Let's see. That's a power connector. It says power there. So that's how you would charge it up. I'm going to charge it up first before we try playing with it. It's got a little tear here. Look at this. Protecting the LCD display. We'll see what that LCD looks like later. Okay, let me charge it and then we'll test it out. Okay, here's the unit charging. As you can see by this little red here, it's not fully charged yet. So far it's been going almost two hours now charging from the initial unboxing. We'll see how long it takes. And here it is, it's turned green now, which means it's fully charged. It took about two and a half hours to do that, right out of the box. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll disconnect the power charger. And I have a microphone attached right here, the headset microphone that came with it. I will turn it on. I will put a microphone right nearby it. So what you're hearing now, I got myself blocked off. You're hearing what's coming out of the speaker. I have to get this headset microphone rather close to my mouth in order for it to come out sounding good. And obviously there's a little bit of pop involved with it, but uh, it does amplify. So uh, the quality is what it is. And, uh, we could change the volume of it, make it a little bit lower. See what we get, like that, a little bit lower. Or I can make it a little bit higher, like that, like that. Hopefully I don't get feedback. Okay, so that's what it sounds like with the headset attached to it. Let me try the next feature. Okay, I've uh, taken off the microphone. I leave it on, and let me plug the USB in. I have a USB with some music on it. Some free public domain music that's provided by YouTube. Let me put this mic back near it.
that sounds pretty good. I had to actually lower the volume on that in order to, uh, to not have it blasting away. Let me switch to channels with it and see what we have. And then I hit pause. That sounds very good. As you can see, I was able to use the control buttons that are at the top. So this is the mode button. That's move track forward, move track backwards. That's the play or pause button right there. And it looks pretty good. Or sounds pretty good. Okay, let me go to the next mode. I'm gonna turn it off first. And I'm gonna unplug this. Okay, let me test the last feature. And that is the Bluetooth. So let me uh, turn this on. I think it's already been paired with my phone. Okay, that sound means it's been paired successfully with my uh, Bluetooth device, which in this case is my phone. Let me play uh, their uh, YouTube free music from my phone this time. Okay, I stopped it. That sounds pretty good. So uh, that particular feature works fine. And there's one more feature I did not mention before. If you take a look at the buttons, there's one that has an R on it. And what the R on it is used for is record. So if you have a USB stick that is with some free space to it and you put the USB stick in here, then whatever is uh, being heard through the microphone will be recorded onto the USB stick. Put it in a separate little folder on the USB stick when, uh, when you've done that. I'm not gonna demonstrate that here, but as you can see, it works just as we'd like. Okay, so that concludes this quick little review of the Windbridge uh, voice amplifier and music player. Also the capability of doing a voice recorder to it if you put the USB stick in there, which by the way, I did try on this and it does work, but again, it's limited by the biggest negative that I found with this product and that's this headset. I think just the quality of this headset leaves a lot to be desired. There is no pre-amplifier on it. So as you heard, it's usable. It doesn't have as clear of an output as the previous voice amplifier that I showed from the same company, Winbridge. In that case, it came with a handheld microphone and also a wireless headset, and those worked extremely well. So if you're going to use this for that purpose, you might want to look into maybe getting yourself a better microphone. Maybe a lapel microphone would work just fine as well. So with that, hopefully you got something out of this video, and if you did, you'd consider subscribing to my channel. So until the next time, take care, stay safe, and stay healthy.